Yeah, Fortnite women on me, the Fortnite boy. All right, that was a great track. All right, up next on COD3, we are going to have a sit-down conversation with Donald Mustard. Now ask him if he's a fan of ketchup. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be a fun time for sure. Stick around for that. Before we do that, though, we're going to take some calls on the line. Uh, let's see who we got here. Uh, Chris. Chris, you're on the air. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's up, I talk. Um... I'm pretty pissed off tonight. What seems to be annoying you today, Chris? So there's these people on Twitter, and they're giving away codes to this Fortnite cosmetic set. Okay, that uh, sounds pretty normal to me. And yeah, you know what? You would think so, but I didn't win a code. Oh, that's a shame, Chris, is that's what's getting you so upset? Yes, I talk. I've already threatened them with threats and call them slurs because I'm just so angry that I did not win. Chris, doesn't that seem like you're taking things a bit too seriously? No, I talk. I didn't win, which means I must downgrade them okay, to the okay, best Chris, of my Chris, ability. Chris, okay. You are getting a bit out of hand here. Just because you didn't win something, that doesn't mean you should act like a complete degenerate. Why not? I should have won it. They have plenty of codes, obviously. I've been told that people only got one code to give out for each cosmetic set, and I've also been told that they didn't need to give them away, so they were doing it from the kindness of their own heart to give the codes away to people. I don't care. If you're gonna do a giveaway, everybody should be able to win it. Well, yeah, you had a chance to win it and you lost. Get over it. Not everybody's going to be able to get a code. What is the matter with you? Why aren't you agreeing with me? Because you're acting like a little baby because you didn't win the code from a giveaway. Go touch grass, bro. It's not the end of the Goodbye, world. Goodbye, iTalk. I'm subscribing from your crappy channel. Bye -bye. That's fine, bro. I don't need to hear. Goodbye, Chris. Have a good one. I like to hear everyone's point of view, but there is zero reason to insult people that are being generous and giving things away to the people. Not gonna bother with any more callers for now. Here's some commercials for you non-premium listeners. Swagged out. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk. Put your hands up. Put the here and in today's video we have a brand new video so today we're going to talk about being nice to people i think this is a pretty common concept for most people you want to be nice to people obviously you're going to have some problems with some people and you're not going to be nice to them right but the least you can do is be neutral and not act like a horrible human being if you don't get something. That's the topic of today's video. Uh, there is some codes that have been given out to some content creators and some other streamers and stuff like that. And instead of keeping that for themselves, which is totally fine that they did that, they are giving them away. Now granted, like I said, we only got one code each of the skins and stuff like that. They were meant to be for us, but they did say in the email that we can give them away to people. And some people have been doing that, myself included. I don't blame anyone for using it for themselves because there was only one code for them. So it comes to my surprise that people are actually attacking others for giving codes away because they just didn't win the code. Two of my homies over on Twitter got attacked for it and it's just a sad sight to see. Candy Wing on Twitter, one of the nicest dudes you would ever meet, said this on Twitter. He said, if you or any random come to my live stream chat saying slurs and wishing death on someone because you didn't win a code from any content creators, please control yourself. It's just a cosmetic item. Be thankful we take our time of day to do something for the community. And then Dodger Cat on Twitter, another amazing content creator, said, let's not ruin something like this, please. Please don't say Epic won't do this again. Of course, there will be weirdos jealous, but this has been the best experience I've had in months being able to give back to my community. No more negative energy just ignore it and i think that is for the best it is good to just ignore the people that are being outright toxic and being extremely vulgar and rude to people that were giving away codes that they didn't even need to give away again we got one code they were meant for us but we were allowed to give them away and i decided to give mine away too and that's the thing right the, the problem we have with this is that people don't know how to behave and I wanted to kind of like talk about this in a video but I think it's a good time to talk about it now maybe it'll get its own video but I've noticed this and I'm not going to try to generalize everybody because it's not everybody there's a few nice people out there majority of people I would assume are nice people but we live in this day and age where being toxic is cool and being toxic is a way to grow our brand and I don't agree with this sentiment whatsoever. The amount of people I see in my Twitter replies saying that, oh, I fell off, oh, oh, I took the L. I don't get offended by that. I just feel bad that there's people out there 
that do this, that they stay on Twitter and they just harass people because I guess it's funny to them. I guess it's just something that they enjoy doing. Well, I can tell you that it doesn't really affect me. It just makes me feel upset that people think that this is a cool thing to do. And to insult people and to harass people that didn't win a code from someone because we only got one code so you had a very unlikely chance of winning it is just sad to me. I don't know why people are like this, and I don't think I needed to make a video about this, but I think it needed to be made because people don't seem to understand that whining like a baby on the internet and crying and insulting other people because you didn't win something from them is extremely childish and I can't believe, like why do I even have to mention this? Of course it's common knowledge to not act like this, but apparently not. Apparently people still don't understand that we're all human beings behind our Twitter accounts. Dodge a Cat is a real life person. Candy Wing is a real life person. I am a real life person. I know that you're listening to a video or watching the video, but we are real human beings with real souls and real feelings. Now, it's going to be a really hard time for people to get under my skin because I've been on the internet for a while. I've dealt with a lot of crap on the internet, but it's not about me here. I was never insulted when I gave away my code, and if I did get it, I didn't see it, and guess what? I didn't really care because it doesn't really bother me because I understand that, yeah, there's going to be people that are upset that they didn't win the code, and that's fine, but when it comes down to the fact that when people straight up insult you or straight up call you slurs and death threats, that's where it's crossing the line. And you could say, oh, it's just a joke. I was just joking. It's not a joke. It's really not a joke that people actually do this and it's not funny and it's not cool. And like I said before, this is not targeted at anybody because I don't know anyone that was doing it. I believe people were doing it because I'm pretty confident that people are like this in the community. And I'm not saying that everyone in this community is toxic because that it could not be further from the truth. It gets labeled badly a lot, but that's not what everyone is. Not everyone is toxic. And I have to get that through people's heads is that I'm not talking to you if you are not one of these people. I'm really talking to those that are being this rude to other people. I'm not mad at you. I'm disappointed. I want you to try to get better. Try to control your emotions. Think what you tweet. Think what you post in a Twitch stream. You know what I mean? I thought it would be common sense to just not degrade others, especially for someone that's giving away something that they didn't need to give away. I don't even want to keep talking about this. This is just sad. Like, this is another L for the Fortnite community. And guess what? The biggest thing with this, too, is that it's not everyone. It's only a few handful of bad apples in the community that spoil the bunch, which is the Fortnite community in general. A lot of people say Fortnite community is toxic. I don't think everyone is toxic. Yeah, I think there's a few bad apples out there, but the bad apple spoils the bunch. That's really how that phrasing goes. So I'm a bit upset about this, guys. I will say this, though, especially with, like, my community, especially on YouTube, you guys are very mature. I've read your comments, and I really do greatly appreciate the community I have on YouTube and Twitter. Like, Twitter is also very positive, too. There's not a ton of hate I get on Twitter. It's the fact that, like, it doesn't even get under my skin. Like I said, I just don't even really acknowledge it. I'm acknowledging it here because I want people to know that, yeah, I get hate sometimes, but it doesn't bother me because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to focus on myself now, and I think it's working out for the best. But I wanted to say here with, like, the YouTube audience, you guys are critical of me sometimes, and that's totally cool. You don't insult me. You don't outright say, oh, wow, you're a horrible person. Like, if I have an opinion you don't agree with, you just say, I don't agree with this opinion opinion and you give me feedback and that's totally fine I'm fine with people talking to me criticizing what I'm posting even disagreeing with what I have to say that's totally fine so long as you give me an ear I will give you one too that's where I want to end off on today's video just please be nice to each other it's not that difficult to do guys that's it for the video today I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please let me know with the like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new if you like to use me for support a creator my code is ITF if you're in the market for some gaming scented candles, please check out wickandskull.com. Use code ITF to save yourself 10% off of your order. I burn their candles every single day. Right now, I'm currently burning the Moxie candle. It's their new Borderlands candle. It smells amazing. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. You all have yourselves a wonderful day or night, and I will talk to you all later. See ya.